like I said earlier, it is the easiest city to be solo in, but it, I do hear from some people that it gets very lonely. I don't feel that way because my dad's a mile away from me. Yeah. My family is here. I've got a great friend group. I'm super grateful. But I imagine somebody moving here from somewhere far away, it could get That's why really you have to lonely. get, like, the core. I have a friend yeah. who moved here about, I think she's mm-hmm. been here for, like, five, six months. Mm-hmm. Um, and she did really well because literally her first week, she said, yeah. I have an objective and I'm going to make as many friends as possible. Yeah. And then It's she, really like, easy to make friends Oh, here. it's so easy to make friends. Easy city to make friends. Yeah, with. and people are very, like, that's what people are here for. Like, yeah. so it's all exactly. about, like, meeting people if you have stuff. a problem making friends here go to therapy because there's probably something wrong with you yeah you like, like you, i mean you so have to put easy effort to in friends. but people are not like like everybody wants to talk yeah. to you everybody is very friendly it's easy but back to the dating yes so i haven't really dabbled much in dating but i remember when i lived here it's not really dating it's very what black and white it's very kind of casual Okay. It's very hard, I think, to develop a relationship with somebody here because everybody's doing their own thing. They're here for a purpose. They're working. They're building something. They just want something that's kind of convenient. It's not oh. It's not really relationship-y. Yeah. Usually, I mean, I think the people who I do know, actually, I don't know really. I know like one person in a relationship right now. Really? I think so. Do you I think have, that's I have because, to like actually think about it, but like, yeah. do you think that's because of the circles you hang out in or? No, I think I have friends who want to be in a relationship. I too, we were talking yeah. about last night. My number one goal in life is to be a wife and yeah. be a mother, but it's just not really something that's on people's minds here. And I think yeah. there's a security that you get with living alone and really gaining that independence and to me at this point in my life that is what success is being comfortable and happy on my own and I feel like I'm doing that and I feel like other people find that here as yeah. well you know do you, you don't know, really need anyone yeah do you know if there's when like, you live here the Facebook groups that are like are we dating the same person oh my gosh I have heard of this and yeah I've heard of this well, there's one apparently like if you're in it you're not supposed to talk about it I'm like I don't everybody knows that this is a thing there's yeah. one in Charleston and they only need one like we're not that big but also we are for every one man five women in Charleston Slim Pickens. Oh, yeah. Like, a man coming perfection. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I wonder it what is, it is in New York. I would love to know. Yeah. I would love to know. I see him on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's going for yeah, it. Thank God. But, um, so, people are dating the same man mm. all the time. That's unfortunate. And, yeah. Especially, mm. I'm like, this is the South. We know your mama. Yeah. We know where you went to high school. I want that. Oh my god! I want that so southern. Fun. It's so fun. Life. I want a farm. I want all of that. Yeah. How do I? How do I get that? You should, like literally. I mean, like you have a husband. You're doing the thing. Like, do you have any tips? For I me? met him in third grade. So. So no it, tips. Like, <laughs> check out your elementary school. <laughs> yeah. Um. I remember. Like, my, go to the yearbook. <laughs> I remember my first crush was obviously a girl well not obviously maybe not for some people but when I was in kindergarten my first crush was a girl and I remember we got to first grade and we had this little friend group and I just learned that girls can marry girls but I didn't really know you like like liked mm-hmm. them like I didn't understand that yeah. and I remember saying like girls can marry girls like we should get married we should get married and she was like no I'm gonna marry this girl first and then I'll marry you <sighs> Broke my heart. I'm still not okay. (laughs) But also she was the girl in high school that thought she was a werewolf. So I'm not really good at picking people. Thought she was a who? Thought she was a werewolf. Like, did you not have that? Like, you didn't have that in your Is this a slang term? No, like she she literally thought thought she was a werewolf. No, (laughs) no, we didn't have that. Maybe it's in New York. (laughs) That particular brand of person. Did you have a horse girl then maybe? Because it's a sound. Hmm, did we have a horse girl? I don't think so. I love me a horse girl. No, we have. By the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like They're the, so cutie. They're cutie. I like their vibe. I like their style. Yeah. Um, no, I was I was friends with a girl who was on an equestrian team, mm-hmm. but she I wouldn't call her a horse girl. Okay. We didn't have that brand. It was we it was a lot of all the same. Like it was, um, do you know what Palmetto Moon is? No. Like if you think like 
Southern Marsh or Yeti Coolers or okay. Um, there's a particular breed brand. I'd say <laughs> they're a breed. They're a breed. More of a <laughs> kind brand. Of. Of, kind of. Yeah, yeah. But more of a brand of, mm. of person and and um, like this very. Like a Southern Belle, there are different versions of a Southern Belle. There's yeah. a Southern Belle that you think of, and it kind of looks like the girl from Princess and the Frog, like the, the okay. little friend. Very There's much. that, yeah. which isn't a lot of them. They're mainly like mm. shop up shop at Palmetto Moon. They have pearl yeah. necklaces. Like oh. their name is like Anna Marie. I want and that. A lot of people think I'm from the South because my name is would, Faith Lynn. You would fit right in. 